Welcome to this Crypto Professor update video on Dogecoin. Now I first reported on Dogecoin on the channel back on the 9th of February, so exactly three months ago today, and I made a recommendation that I wouldn't be buying any Dogecoin at around about seven cents. Now since then the price has escalated and it's actually done 10 times the return. So if you did invest or had invested at that point, you would have made a profit. However, the rise of Dogecoin, in my opinion, has been purely speculative and without basis. What I mean by that is, yes, Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency and it has a use case, but that use case is fulfilled by other cryptocurrencies a lot better than Dogecoin. The founders no longer are a part of the Dogecoin ecosystem and are not developing it in any way. And this price action has purely been the result of social media, Elon Musk tweeting about it, and a general disdain for financial regulators and financial large bigwigs, basically, Okay, as seen in Wall Street Bets, GameStop, etc. People are coming into the cryptocurrency sector through Dogecoin, which is a positive thing, but I'm a little bit concerned that if and when Dogecoin starts to sell off, the collateral damage for cryptocurrencies may be quite significant. Let's just look at Dogecoin at the moment, and we've actually been selling off in the last 24 hours. We're down 25%, which is actually one of the largest drops for Dogecoin since I made that original recording. We've got a market capitalization of around about $70 billion. That's down from around about 94, the all-time high and a 24-hour trading volume of 37 billion. So actually over half of the entire market cap is being actively traded in the last 24 hours. We've also got a really broad volatility index at the moment, 73 cents down to 51. We're currently at 52. So we are currently towards the bottom end of this volatility. We've slipped from as high as three in the top 10 cryptocurrencies down to five when my previous recording was made it was number 10 and obviously the circulating supply hasn't really changed 10,000 new dogecoin are released every single day or five thousand three hundred dollars at current prices which go to miners and obviously we've got an infinite amount of potential supply which is not always a good thing but there are other cryptocurrencies that I am bullish on that have infinite supply. So I'm going to take that with a little bit of a pinch of salt for the time being. So let's look at the overall structure at the moment. We had an all time high yesterday of 73 cents. And then we had Elon Musk talk and present Saturday Night Live, um, where he actually uh, presented um, the made an appearance. And rather than being bullish, the price actually dropped 30%. Now I'm going to provide an explanation for that uh, towards the end of this video when I do the technical analysis, okay? But you would assume, or one would assume, that because Elon Musk has been fueling, predominantly fueling, this cryptocurrency's growth, that uh, a prominent appearance on Saturday Night Live would actually push the price higher. And I'm going to show you that it could have done if it weren't for some very decisive action by some cryptocurrency Dogecoin holders. Okay, so let's just look over the last seven days. We saw a uh, peak of around about 67 cents, followed by a small sell off, followed by another high. And then we're now back to this region here where we're having an, a nice intersect with um, the 50 cent region. Okay, so in terms of market capitalization, as I say, we're currently around about $68 billion, okay? And obviously, everything is green from previous history. Um, there are currently 97% um, or 93% rather of holders are making money at this point, okay? So if you own Dogecoin, you're likely to be making money at the current price, okay? That's, and 7% aren't, okay? Now, I've got a good indication as to where those 7% are, okay? 
we've got a situation where it doesn't correlate particularly well with the Bitcoin price. That's because, in my opinion, it is a speculative investment, which has been f purely fueled as a meme. OK, and definitely Dogecoin has been the most successful meme probably in the entirety of history, um, taking a coin that, in my opinion, doesn't really have much of a use case outside of day to day transactions that, you know, are going to be something like Ripple or another cryptocurrency could fulfill to make it more valuable than Twitter and even Ford in terms of market capitalization. OK, so a lot of attention is on this. I did a, a recent networking event um, to non cryptocurrency uh, investors and business owners, and around about two thirds of them had heard of Dogecoin. OK, so that's been a remarkably successful, um, almost propaganda campaign for cryptocurrencies. However, I've got a feeling that there's going to be a bittersweet end to this because when it does start falling, and I believe that the, the start has already happened, we are already at the beginning of the end of a severe drop for Dogecoin, then the collateral damage for other cryptocurrencies could be huge and we'll back into fear, uncertainty and doubt territory. Um, rather than euphoria, which we have been in now for quite some time with most major cryptocurrencies. Now, obviously, this chart you can just see looks terrifying. We have obviously climbed so much, 8,000% since the start of the year. Okay, This is not sustainable, despite what many people might tell you. Dogecoin cannot continue its rally in a similar fashion like this. So I'm going to be analysing that a little bit later and determining where to take profit, where to set a stop loss. You know, I'm not saying get out immediately, but I am saying be extremely cautious because the market dynamics at the moment are not in favour of retail investors. So let's just take a look at the interest at the moment. So we're currently almost coming off an all time high for interest. We dropped um, recently down to the 1st of May and this uh, Google Trends Analytics is telling us there's going to be another peak at some point in the future okay uh, based on partial data okay so there could be an interesting movement that may be a result of the SNL sketch uh, the SNL presentation effectively okay now one thing I really want to draw your attention to is the fact that uh, very relatively few wallets contain a disproportionate amount of Dogecoin. Specifically, almost 80% of Dogecoin, or 652 wallets, own collectively 80% of the market, almost 80% of the market. Okay, So the wealth distribution of this cryptocurrency, weirdly, mirrors that of the dollar. OK, in that a disproportionate amount of people own a significant amount of the currency. OK, so it's not really a people's currency. It's not really a, you know, globally adopted cryptocurrency. Um, the contrast between this and, say, something like Bitcoin is quite sparse in terms that, at least with Bitcoin, there are, you know, significant holders. But there are also many, many wallets with relatively few amounts of uh, Bitcoin. Whereas with this, 80%, it's the 80-20 principle effectively in action. Okay. Now, what does this mean? Well, this theoretically means that, obviously, if Dogecoin appreciates in price significantly, then these 650-odd wallets become disproportionately wealthy and they may consider selling. Now, remember, I, I specifically said that 93% of Doge holders at the moment are in profits, OK? So they may be incentivized to take that profit, OK? So let's look now at the actual analysis, and I'm going to compare this against Bitcoin, OK? So you can obviously see in the last 24 hours we had a huge drop. That's been mirrored in the technicals, so we've had MACD come down. OK, we're now underneath the uh, seven, uh, the 50 day and the 21 day EMAs. And this is on a four hour chart. OK, and we're looking weak, if I'm honest. OK, so this is against Bitcoin, which obviously has been rallying as well. It has increased. 
um, recently uh, up to 59,000 US dollars. We theoretically could come down here and tap this trend line around about 670 Satoshi and then bounce off, but we have got a strong negative resistance level at around about the 1,250 region. Okay, so we're probably, in my estimation, going to see a continuation of this downward trajectory before we see any further climb, at least against Bitcoin. Let's look now at the actual dollar price. Now, obviously, we had a higher high and then we had this capitulation down to this green trend line, this bullish trend line. OK, we're currently oscillating at this level. OK, we theoretically could break through here and tap this descending trend line and cascade all the way down to around about 43 cents or so. Then this green trend line is the last bastion of uh, bullishness for Dogecoin. If we break here, then we are in new territory and we're going to see a lot of capitulation theoretically down to, well, I don't actually not actually uh, speculating that far ahead at the moment. Now, theoretically, things could change. We could see a nice bounce from here. OK, plenty of people are probably psychologically thinking of getting in here because it's been the first viable opportunity to buy, quote unquote, cheap Dogecoin. OK, so a lot of people are going to be waking up today and thinking, oh, maybe I could buy. We're also um, facilitated by the fact that it is a Sunday at the time of recording and for the last four five six seven weeks at least uh and uh, anecdotally people have been able to see that on sundays trading volumes drop and prices drop as well so it's kind of a sunday effect kicking in at the moment and obviously we can also see at the moment we are dropping significantly underneath that trend line whether this is a fake uh trend break or not time will tell but we are currently in dangerous territory obviously we have had this wick extend underneath that so i would look for maybe a continuation of this or a bullish movement back up depending on what goes on here i'm going to err on the side that this is going to be a bearish scenario okay we theoretically could see it come down to as i say 43 cents before bouncing higher and then we may oscillate between these two bullish trend lines for the time being so what is actually happening why is this happening OK, so if we take an analysis, look at the volume data, we can actually see that in the last 24 hours, there's actually been a lot of buying of Dogecoin. This green wick here represents one point four billion dollars or one point three five billion dollars of new money effectively entering Dogecoin from Bitcoin. This is in Satoshi. OK, so people have theoretically been liquidating their Bitcoin into Dogecoin and yet the price still declined. OK, so what would actually cause this? Well, I have a theory that there are significant players in Dogecoin liquidating huge amounts of their tokens. OK, when I did a previous video recording a couple of days ago for my private members club effectively or te technical analysis club there were 670 uh, wallets holding 80 percent of the market there are now only 652 so effectively 18 wallets have been emptied 18 large wallets have been emptied recently and this explains what's happening here because in order obviously to get out of a market you need to have the liquidity to do so so what is happening, in my opinion, is that retail investors are buying and they are being liquidated by long term whales in this market who are seeking to capitalize on the price at the moment and get out, basically. OK, so it effectively is a race to the bottom. Now, obviously, Dogecoin has had a spectacular rise and it can't go on forever. But I do believe that in time we will see this drop nicely. OK, now where you get out is your choice. We've obviously got a cross on the four hour uh, in terms of the seven day and the 25 day EMA. So that's probably going to set for this to continue. But if you do own Dogecoin at the moment, I would recommend setting a stop loss. If you're in BTC, I would set your stop loss at around about 600. OK, so if we do see this collapse entirely and if we do see this break of this trend line here, you've at least got something out of 
your investment in Dogecoin. If we're looking in US dollar terms, so as I've just discovered, setting a 200 day EMA with this cryptocurrency is not viable because the 200 days are so compacted by the extreme price movement that your stop loss is negligible. Okay, so what I would do in this particular situation is just use the trend lines. Okay, so you could theoretically wait to see what happens here and set a stop loss maybe on this red line here perhaps it's um, maybe you know 46 47 cents if you want to get out also 43 cents is another capitulation region okay so this continues further down here okay and it does look like if i can just uh do this here we have actually got another descending channel there okay so we're probably going to oscillate around this region for a little while potentially come down to 43 cents and bounce. Interestingly, if you notice the Bitcoin volume wick is green, which means capital coming in to the market, and the wick on the volume for the US dollar is red, meaning capital leaving the market. Okay, so we can see what's happening here. People are liquidating their Bitcoin into Dogecoin and other people are selling their Dogecoin for fiat currency, okay, which further supports my hypothesis that people are whales effectively are exiting Dogecoin. Whether they're going to rebuy or not, I can't speculate. There may be a massive capitulation of further price action at these intersections here, but all I can say is the picture for dogecoin at the moment does seem more bearish than bullish particularly as you know obviously the fuel that fuels dogecoin movements last night was as high as it ever can be with elon musk being on saturday night live and yet the price still seemed to drop significantly at the point of maximal public awareness so i hope you've enjoyed this brief updates on dogecoin once again i don't own any dogecoin i'm not intending to buy any dogecoin i don't think it's a particularly useful cryptocurrency however that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't make money through it and if we do see a drop to 46 43 cents then it may be worth buying some dogecoin at that price level if you have the stomach to potentially weather the storm for a very severe drop in the near term future personally i would avoid dogecoin i think that it's purely fueled by popular opinion it's got an easy route to market it's relatively understandable and obviously it's completely designed for the meme based social culture that dominates the planet at the moment so that's my take on dogecoin if you'd like to me to analyze any particular project in particular, please mention it in the comments and I will take a look. But otherwise, happy trading.